John Bledenthal is my name. Today we're gonna to talk about tools. Modern small farms have begun designing their own suite of tools. These tools are designed to save time on intensive small operations. Today we're gonna to take a look at a few of these tools that facilitate producing transplants and preparing raised beds for small farms. To start, we're going to look at the Precision Vacuum Seeder. When the vacuum's turned on, the suction draws a seed down over each one of these holes, which aligns also with our seeding trays. We flip it over the seed tray, cut the suction, seeds fall into, the, into our cells, move on to the next tray. The biggest pro of this, obviously, is time savings. We can do lots and lots of trays in the time that it would take us to do just a few by hand. Next one up, we have the Tilly, the Tilly version two. This is a cut. This is a battery powered uh, tillage implement. So in terms of the equipment we have here is a hub motor. So this is the exact same motor that you're gonna find on an electric bike. It's actually what the equipment was repurposed from, as well as the 36 volt battery that powers it. On and off switch is controlled by a key. Up top we have the throttle. So the Tilly is designed to be operated from the opposite side of the bed in which the work is being done. You hold the implement at a slight angle, walk down one side of the bed, come back the other uh, to shape one side of the bed. Another nice feature of this is just the ability to move quite a bit of earth um, and moving it back and forth if you needed to more define your path. And that's just another way in which you can use it. Um, it's a lot more uh, taxing on your body. What I like about the Tilly V2, first thing, probably the biggest thing is, is its power and its ability to move earth. As long as you have something that's pre-prepped, and certainly if you have any substantial weed growth or grasses or roots, it doesn't do as well in that. Once you have something uh, where that's already initially broken up, this is, this, seem, this is a really good tool. Very impressed with the amount of power that it has. Next up, we have the tilther. It's going to mix up your top couple of inches of soil, um, help get your particle size uh, much smaller, a lot more uniform um, as we continue to, to prep our beds uh, for either seeding or transplanting. So what we have here for parts, again, dual handles uh, for control, ergonomics. We have a cord that is our on-off switch is connected to the power drill. Power drill is our motor. Power drill does not come with the tool. And then what we're turning here are blades on a fixed bar. Essentially this is a horizontal blender. We could probably take that shaft out and actually use it as a blender. It's certainly easier to operate it standing on the same side versus on the opposite side as we did with the Tilly. Yeah, it's nice and then I, that was almost effortless. I'm just walking the dog there. This tool doesn't require a lot of energy to walk it down the bed row. It wants to climb on its own and move down. Um, so it's fairly effortless to, to move it down a bed. Uh, it does a good job of, of breaking up larger, larger clumps of soil. This does seem like a very practical tool if you work with beds. Next up, we're going to look at this bed roller. It's just how the name sounds. It is for rolling your beds. You have your roller wheel down on the bottom, a shelf for weight. The weight is on you to provide with your T handle and the handle is adjustable for walking on either side of your bed. Bed rollers 
are used for either direct seating or for transplanting. If you're doing direct seating, we just roll this down the bed, get a nice flat bed that we can uh, then direct seat into. If we're gonna do transplanting and we need it to mark holes, you could also roll this bed. You have the option of getting dibblers that clip into your grates here that you can space to your desired spacing for your transplants. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you get a nice flattened surface. Quick and easy. There are attachments for marking rows, some bands that go around the, the bottom wheel there, or dibblers. Um, but yeah, very, very straightforward. Quick and easy way to get a uniform flat surface. All right, so next up we have the flame weeder. So flame weeders are good for creating that sterile seed bed. Uh, this is, ideally, you're gonna catch weeds in the, in the white thread stage uh, or seeds that haven't germinated yet in the top couple inches of soil. I think for this piece of equipment, especially with the hood um, attachment, you're definitely, definitely gonna want uh, very, very uniform, very, very well prepared surface for this thing to function the way in which it's designed. Uh, I think anything short of that, which we might be pushing here in this uh, clay or soil, um, poses a few challenges for it uh, in terms of uh, uniform coverage. These tools definitely have the, the bit higher of a price tag on them. I think that they are uh, suited for somebody that is either looking to scale up a bit uh, from a hand tools, not quite ready for a BCS or a tractor. Whether or not they're right for you uh, is entirely contextual. Um, and it's, it's, it's uh, you, the farmer, deciding where your labor shortages are or time shortages or where you'd like to increase efficiencies. Whether or not that's right for you uh, again, is, is for you to decide. If you're interested in knowing more about these tools, their function, where to get them, how other folks are using them, any research that's been done around them, look in the additional resources below.